Okay, so we're going to talk about let's see, two's complement as well as tens complement. Okay, so there you have it. Oops, well, so these two things over here. So let's look at tens complement first. Okay, so suppose I have some number. Let's say I have, I don't know, I have, let's say I have 10, so look at 100. 100, and I want to subtract away, say, 37. Okay, so 100 minus, minus 37, let's see, that's going to be uh, 30, uh, so, sorry, 63. Okay, great, 63. Okay, uh, if I take uh, some number, it's like this is our number, let's say, and I subtract that away from the um, uh, the closest uh, power. Of, sorry, not the closest. I should say the uh, the um, the next highest power of two. So the sorry, power is ten. So the um, so ten can go into thirty-seven, but uh, one hundred cannot. So if I take this uh, number here, uh, 37, and I subtract it away from 100, I get what's known as the tens complement of this number. So this is the tens complement of that number, and vice versa. So, um, so 63 is the tens complement of 37, and 37 likewise is the tens complement of 63. So there you go. And you might think, well, what's well, that's kind of, so what, right? Here's what's kind of interesting about it. So suppose I have, like, say, um, some problem. Like, say, suppose I want to say, well, what's, um, I don't know, suppose I have 82. Uh, uh, suppose I want to subtract away this number, 37, this number here, right? Same number, right? So I subtract away 37 from that. Um, let's see, what what is that? Um, let's just do the math really quick. So that's 7 is going to be... 12 minus 7 is 5, and then 7 minus 3 is 4, so we have 45. Okay, great. Um, so that's that. So suppose what I do instead is I, um, suppose I uh, were to um, add in uh, 63. So suppose I did like 82, and I said plus um, 63. So let's say we do that. So if I do that, a2 plus 63. I say, well, 2 plus 3, well, that's that's 5, okay, sure. And then 8 plus 6, well, that's 14. Okay, great. Huh, well, that's that's kind of interesting. You know, there's two numbers here, right? We have 45 and 145. If I um, if I got rid of that, if I just ignored this bit over here, if I, or sorry, this digit here, if I ignore that, this part over here, well, that's 45, huh? That's, that's kind of interesting. Um, now, this observation that, well, uh, these are the same, uh, if we subtract this number or add in the tens complement, we end up with the same number if we just ignore this extra digit here. Well, as it turns out, your computer, you know, represents everything in binary, but um, we don't have the benefit in our computer of having a, a, a these signs. We don't have uh, these uh, signs here. We don't have, like, positive or negative signs. So in your computer, we're representing negative numbers using what's known as the tens comp sorry, the, the twos complement. Right? Tens complement allows us to subtract using addition. Okay, that's a little trick you can do. Uh, if you don't know how to subtract but you know how to add, well you can subtract using uh, addition. Okay? Um, and by the way, so you don't have to actually do subtraction here, right? Um, I could, in principle, um, uh, take the tens complement just by saying, well, um, you know, for an, uh, each digit, right, I could say, well, uh, except for the last one, I uh, would say, well, uh, whatever that thing is minus, um, well, I'll see, show you what I mean. So we have, say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So the complement of each of these things would be, um, let's see, so um, 
let's look with look at our example here. So it's uh, six, and so two would be uh, this would be uh, um, seven. This would be eight, and this would be nine. And this would be uh, five. This would be four, three, uh, two, one, and then zero. Okay. So by the way, these are the complements. These are the tens complement of each other. So zero is the tens complement of nine and and vice versa, as you can see, right? And one and eight, right? As you can see, it's these are all, are all symmetrical, right? There's there's a symmetry here, right? Okay. Um, except for the last digit, right? So um, and I can just keep going, right? These these are bidirectional, really. So really, we only have to write half of this, and we're we're really set. So um, um, in any event, but you notice this last uh, uh, this sorry the least significant. Uh, Digits. Uh, we actually um, uh, uh, we have this. It's not quite the same. We have this uh, seven and three. Well, we'll see what's going on in a, in a second. It's, it's the analogy works in uh, in uh, two's complement. So in two's complement, uh, if we want to find uh, a number, and we want to, the goal here is to subtract using addition. Or also equivalently represent a negative number. Or represent negatives. If we want to do any of these two things, we need to know about two's complement, which is the same concept as ten's complement, but only in binary. So we're going to do this. Let's just say that. Um, so suppose we're dealing with a binary number. So suppose we have like let's say one one zero oh, one zero. Oh, let's say, okay. And. What I want to do is, um, I want to subtract away uh, this other number here. I want to say, um, I want to subtract away, let's say, 101. Okay? So just to make sure we're doing this right, um, I would say, well, okay, um, what is, let's take a look at these two things. So this number here, let's say there are 1s, there are 2s, there are 4s, there are 8s, and there are 16s places. So, all right, well, we have. 2 plus 8, 10, um, it's going to be 26. And we want to subtract away 1, uh, sorry, uh, 5, uh, 5, so 26 minus 5. So that's just going to be 21, okay? All right, um, now in order to do this, right, um, we have to think about 2's complement, right? We can't actually just do the subtraction. I mean, we, we could, but uh, in principle, but uh, your computer does not have special hardware for doing subtraction. Actually. Represents all all integers using two's complement internally. So, um, if I want to do this uh, subtraction, um, first what I'd like to try to do um, is just uh, take a look at this addition first. So let's just add these two good numbers together. This would be um, instead of twenty six uh, minus five, we'll say twenty six plus five, and that's just going to be just for just for fun. That's going to be uh, 31. Oops. So that's 31. So we could do this really quick. So this is going to be 1 carry the this 0. So if we carry uh, the 0, and we have 1 carry nothing. We have 1 carry nothing. 1. And then finally, that's just going to be 1. Yeah, and actually, as you can see, this is indeed 31 in binary because we have all ones. We have one, two, three, four, five uh, ones. So there you go. <coughs> you should always recognize this, by the way. This is sort of an interesting aside. Um, two to any power. Let's say so. I have two to the five. Let's say that's equal to 32. Now um, there's 32 possibilities when we have five bits, right? We have one, two, three, four, five bits. But the highest value you can represent with uh, five bits is going to be thirty-one because remember there's that we need to represent zero. So, okay. Anyway, now suppose what I want to do is I want to subtract away five. Okay, I want to subtract away five from twenty-six, so I would get twenty-one instead. All right. What I need to do is I need to take two's complement, and the way I do that is this. Um, I need to first. There's a couple of steps. I have to first, I'll sort them down. So the first thing I do is I zero fill. Second step, flip bits. And the third step is I need to um, uh, add one. Like 
we did over here. We actually do the same thing. This, these are, this is analogous to flipping our bits. So this is like um, uh, find the complement. And then we add one because you see, like, right, that's basically what that amounts to. So let's take a look. Let's move down a bit. So let's just copy this thing over here. So I, I haven't actually done this whole zero fill thing. So let's do that really quick. You notice that there's some there's a gap here. I didn't. These are implicitly zero. So let me just do that really quick. So I want to take the two's complement of this number over here, of this number here. Okay. So and I want to do this uh, subtraction. So I have 26, and I want to subtract away five. So let's flip these bits. So I'm going to say, well, flip them. So that's going to be one, one, zero. 1, 0. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, sure. Um, so, right? I, so, yeah, sure. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to, so I, I have 0 filled. I'm going to flip the bits. Now let's add 1 to this. So I'm going to add 1. So, let's just, so this number plus 1 is going to be, um, so that's 27, right? Okay. So let's, we're going to do the addition of this. Okay, so let's do this. So 0 plus 1 is just going to be 1, carry nothing. This is going to be uh, uh, 1, 0, so there we go. Uh, carry nothing. Uh, so that's going to be 1, 1. So, okay, great. So now if I take this and I discard that first bit, right, I want to look at just these bits over here to make sure we're doing the subtraction because remember we're trying to do 26 uh, minus 5, right? And so this minus 5 over here, that's the by analogy, this is a 2's complement. So we just found the 2's complement. So this is, by the way, I should mention the step here that I did, that was the 2's complement. And the steps we took, well, were these three steps, you know, these are the steps. Okay. All right. So if I convert this back into um, back into decimal, right? We have is there ones, or twos, or fours, or eights, and our sixteens place. So sixteen plus four that's twenty, and plus one is twenty one. Hey, that's pretty cool. It works. So your computer, when it does subtraction, is actually taking the twos complement of this guy over here, this, and. Uh, or I should say this guy, really. Um, and when it takes the two's complement, um, it just does addition as normal, and we discard this guy over here. We discard this um, uh, this highest order, this uh, most significant bit. Just as we did over here, we discarded this guy over there, that, this bit over here, or this digit, I should say. So there you have it. Um, Incidentally, um, this, uh, this leads to some fun uh, uh, issues. So suppose we were to look at, suppose we have a uh, four-bit machine. So we say, um, okay, so we have four bits, right? Okay. Um, I'll, just, I'll just go to this level, okay? So we have these four bits, okay? Um, And do, 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 do. so we're counting in binary, so you should know how to count in binary by now. Okay, and there we go. So notice this is only half of my uh, four bits. So we have four bits, right? Four bits. Okay, great. Now, uh, by the way, this is bits zero through seven, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so if I want to take the two's complement of these guys to represent a negative number. So that, again, the point of two's complement is to represent negative numbers. So um, <coughs> I want to take, say, the two's complement of zero. Right? Let's see what happens. Let's follow our steps. Let's re let me repeat the steps here. We do the zero fill. Well, in this case, we don't need to worry about that. We already did that. Second step, flip the bits. And the third step is add one. Okay, so we add one. That's a one, by the way, not a seven. Okay. 
Okay, so in this case, we're going to flip the bits. Okay, that's what we end up with. If we add one to that, we get um, we get this guy, right? But here's the thing: we only have four bits to work with, so really, the two's complement of zero is just zero. This is actually a very useful property. The reason why we don't want to have to deal with positive or negative zero that really gets to be annoying. So uh, the fact that two's complement the zero works out to be the same regardless of what, how we deal with this is a very nice property um, of representing negative numbers. This is why the computer uses two's complement and not some other uh, mechanism. There's actually other ways of representing. There's other ways to represent negative numbers. Uh, such as having a sign bit or uh, what's known as excess um, 127 or excess whatever the power is minus one. Uh, those are the ways to represent negative numbers, but two's complement is really the best way. It's the most straightforward way, and it also has this nice property where you can do subtraction. So, anyway, um, let's take a look. So let's go look at these two's complements again. So let's say two's complement of one. Um, by the way, this is going to be zero over here. We want to represent negative one now. So uh, let's flip these bits. So we have one, 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 zero, oh, right? And then, okay, add one to that. We get one, 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 one. Okay, so that's going to be negative one. All right. Um, so the two's complement. So there's our two's complement of two. So that's going to be flip bits one, one, zero, oh, one. Add one to that, we end up with one one uh, one zero. Oh. Okay, that's negative two, negative three, negative four, negative. This is not quite a line, but you get the idea. Negative six, negative seven. Okay, just keep doing these real quick. All right, so let's just flip these bits. So one one zero oh, zero, oh, but we add one, so we end up with. Uh, one, one, oh, one, one, oh, one, one plus one is equal to one, one, oh, oh. Okay, and finally we have one, oh, one, oh, plus one, one, oh, one, 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 oh, one plus one. Okay, and this is kind of belaboring a point, but, um, all right, and then finally the last one we have um, one o o o plus one plus one o o one. Okay, you notice that we're missing something, right? We have all these values here, but there's actually something we're missing. And it's actually not shown here, but um, we don't have this guy one o o o. Right? That doesn't exist on the other side. It doesn't exist on this side either. This, by the way, is how we can represent negative eight. So, just as an aside, so um, if you were to take the um, uh, two's complements of some positive, so these are, by the way, are, are positive numbers over here, They're positives, as you can see, and these are going to be our negative numbers over here, although in this case, zero, positive, and negative doesn't matter, so because we only look at these. Uh, four bits here. We ignore the carry, so or the extra carry here. So we only have four bits to work with. So these, um, what we end up with is um, a way of representing positive and negative numbers. Um, we have, in this case, uh, sixteen total possibilities, um, going from positive seven to negative eight, or I should say negative eight to seven, with the zero in between. So, good times. So, um, that's by the way. Also, if you were to, if you were to take um, if you did this in Java, by the way, if you did um, if you tried this, if you said somewhere inside of main you said system, so try this for fun. Say system dot out dot println, and you say integer dot max value. And you say plus one, right? You can say plus one here. This is going to print out this thing over here 
uh, it's going to print out big old negative numbers. It's going to print out negative 2 billion something or other. The reason for that is because we have our maximum value, which is going to be... Um, so the maximum value is hard-coded to be essentially something like this. It's going to be like this guy over here. Uh, only instead of having 4 bits, we have 32 bits. So we have 32 bits. But we're, um, we're only going to use 31 bits uh, essentially for our positive numbers. And the other, um, well, I should say, um, uh, for our positive numbers, you notice these are all start with 0, right? So we're only, use, really, really, we're only really using 3 bits here. Uh, for our positives and for our negatives, we're only using 3 bits. But uh, this first bit effectively serves as a sign bit. So 0 is uh, positive and uh, 1 is going to be negative if in the highest, oh, sorry, the most significant bit. All right, anyway, um, so 2 to the 31, as it turns out, um, is like 2 billion something or other. So, um, so that's why when you do this, if you say integer uh, dot max value and you add 1 to it, well, if you add 1 to that, what you end up with is going to be 1 000, which is going to be this guy over here, roughly. So that's the idea. So fun fact. So, okay, so that's 2's complement uh, in a nutshell. And so you can use that to do subtraction, which is kind of fun. And you can also use it to represent negative numbers, which is also fun too.